Amazing. Alicia. Oh, wow. I've never seen anything like that before. The costumes are outstanding. It was a visual treat. I love the music. The choreography was brilliant. It was fantastic. Well done. What I'm loving about The Champion is that we get to see different countries, we get to see different tastes, what makes champions and winners in other parts of the world, and I can totally see why the golden buzzer was pressed for you. You are extraordinary. A real spectacle, a feast for the eyes. I agree. That's how you fill a stage at Wembley. You use every part of it and you did it brilliantly. I think what I loved most about this was that I could see my own reflection during <laughs> the performance. No, I mean, you know, the thing we always say we're looking for, we're looking for something original, yeah. something we haven't seen before. Well, this is it. This is it, isn't it? This is something really, really original. I worry about chafing, <laughs> to be honest with you because it must be hot in those costumes, but just for creating an incredible moment on this show, well done. Thank you, churches. Hello, who are you? My name is Dan Chez. I'm from Wolverhampton. I am 60 years old, what? and I'm here to do my thing. And you're gonna sing, right? Yes, Simon. This is an original song called Wiggle Wine, because wiggle, <laughs> Wiggle wine. Wine. Yes, woo! Wiggle wine. Good luck. <laughs> Let's do it, Don Chez. Come on, Don Chez. <laughs> All right.
Come on, everybody. Wiggle wide. My name is Big Martin. And what brought you here? Well, I had goals and dreams, and I was sort of chasing them. And Big, do you work? I do, yeah, I do. What do you do? I work really hard. I work as a gym instructor, and I work as a manager in McDonald's. I nice. like the fish burgers. He likes the fish fillets. The fish burgers. Loves a fillet of fish. Simon loves a fillet of fish. What are you going to sing for us? I'm going to sing Friday Night, which is my original song. Wow. What's it about? It's about Friday Night. All right, have some fun. Ready? I was working all week, nothing exciting. I was waiting all week, so boring. But tonight I'll go out because it's Friday night. I wanna keep moving all night. I wanna dance all night. all night. And I wanna drink all night. all night. And I wanna party all night. And I wanna enjoy this night because it's Friday, Friday night. Everybody, hands up. It's all right. I wanna keep moving all night. I'm waiting on you, go come closer because tonight we party till the morning light. I'll buy you a couple shots and couple drinks, then dancing all night long, kissing you non stop. That's what I want because it's Friday night. Go dry ice. <laughs> We haven't seen Simon dance at all. That's what I love about Friday night. We are all making up. Friday night. Friday night. Friday night. Friday night. Friday night.
Stop it! Back. Can I ask a question? What was the name of the song? Friday Night. <laughs> John, tell us a bit about yourself. Hello there, I'm from Newcastle, up on Tyne. Yay! Come on, John! Got your lad! I do a voluntary radio station. I'm a DJ from Newcastle. <laughs> Simon, Simon has got a clue what's going on. That's number one. And, John, what's the dream? My dream is to be at uh, Starlink, Ant and Deck and Shovel Corps. Yes, you know it! Yes! Hello? And who are your musical inspirations? I'm a big fan of Metro Radio back in the North East and BBC Radio Newcastle. It's very Newcastle based. <laughs> Derek, come here a second. Go on, go, go, go. You need to translate here because I can't understand a word you say. Is it what? He, he very much enjoys listening to Metro Radio and BBC Radio Newcastle. Got it, thank there you. you. <laughs> I mean, you just sounded like him. <laughs> <laughs> Did I? <laughs> That was my posh voice. <laughs> Have you brought anyone with you today? I've come myself all the way from Newcastle. <laughs> he, he's on his own. Got it. <laughs> Can I say one thing? This is for Simon of DJ John. Thank you, John. Hey, Simon. Thank you. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Take care. Take care. Up the stairs, yeah. <laughs> John, the stage is yours. Good luck, whenever you're ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Come on, then, John. Go. Yeah. Go. 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 Yeah, go. Yeah. Go. Start. Go. 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 So, no, don't go. No, 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 not go. Hit <laughs> <laughs> it, it. Let the beat control your body. Let the beat control your body. Now let my beats control your body. Yes. Come on. Let my beats control your body. Come on. Let my beats control your body. Come on. to let the beat control your body, Simon. That's what you need. Let's start with hello. Hello. I am uh, Viggo. I'm from uh, Norway, but I, I live in the UK now. Good. Norway is very boring. <laughs> 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 and what's your last name? Uh, then. Yeah, like the diagram, you know? Venn diagram, that's right. Vigo, why are you here? I, I'm here because uh, I want to become a British comedian. Oh. <laughs> OK, right, no more questions. Good luck. Thank you, thank you.
doing? Simon's face is like this. <laughs> Look at Simon's face. <laughs> In Norway, that means you're doing really good. <laughs> Oh. Is there any more? Is there any more? Come on, please. Yes! Honestly? Okay, any more? You want more? No. <laughs> no. I love this app so much! Stupidity to such a level that was just, it was killing me. Oh, I thought you were going to do stand up comedy. Yeah, but it's a bit difficult with the language for me. <laughs> No idea what's going on right now, but it was really annoying. It was stupid. None of it was very good. Let's just go to the yes and no bit. Bruno. Is a yes for me? Oh, definitely yes. Look, you know what? Um, I like the music, but it is what it is. Which is... <laughs> the most stupid act we've had this year. <laughs> This feels very much Britain's Got talent -y. So I'm going to say yes, we've got through to the next round.
relationship has been breached. Before I throw this over, this app were on Britain's Got Talent. They were my golden buzzer. This is your golden yeah, buzzer. Yeah, I swear His to God. His golden buzzer, yeah. How it, if it was me, I would give them the golden buzzer. I would. <laughs> I can't. You can. I can. You can. Look, Howie. Look. It's my choice. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I'm sorry. No, I agree. Because I believe the dark side is the good side. And these guys are one of the most original acts we've ever had. They have to be in the final. They have to be. You know what we just figured out? Simon Cowell is your father. <laughs> Heidi, yes. do you love Boogie Storm as much as Simon loves Boogie Storm? I don't. Nobody does. I don't. I don't. I mean, you guys are all fine dancers and stuff. They are stone trolls. And it's like a real fun gimmick, but how long can that last? I mean, my the favorite part about this act was actually looking at Simon being like a kid in a candy exactly. store. Exactly. <laughs> well, I've never known Simon love an act as much as he loves Boogie Storm. Boogie Storm, welcome to America. You've made your mark. I'm with Simon on this one. I love storm let's hear it one more time oh, oh no he's got real dogs got those real dogs not muddy puppets Woof. they are so cute hello hello welcome to britain's got talent I think that may have been slightly premature. Um, <laughs> so please introduce yourselves. They're dogs. <laughs> Your disco dogs, is that right? Your disco dogs. OK. The stage is yours, oh disco dogs. <laughs> Tell me if this is the right way around, darling. Yes, you look cute. You kind of look like a bunny rabbit. Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who I see my feet up on the horse and I'm really on this get out. Get back your feet, back your feet. Get back your feet. Get back your feet. Get back your feet. Get back
completely bonkers and completely Britain's Got Talent, so thank you. Yes. You know what? This is the sort of thing my son Eric would love. What a great end to the show this year. Thank you. I loved it and I'm going to kick it off with a big fat woof! It's a woof from me. It's a woof from me. You got four woofs. Thank goodness for that. Thank you. It's just something I threw together this morning. Very nice. What is your name? Christopher. Hi, Christopher. Where are you from? Las Vegas. From Las Vegas. And how old are you, Christopher? I'm 54. No way. Uh-huh. Wow. I'm not even going to ask what you're going to do. Let's just watch. Thank you. What's happening? What's going on, Nick? Be patient.
Remind people who you are. We are Light Balance Kids, and we are from Ukraine. And we're finalists from season 14. <laughs> Could your families come with you, or is it just you guys? Uh, some of our parents, like my father, is still on the war in Ukraine. He's fighting for our country, for independence and freedom. You've seen this? Of course, yeah. I woke up at 4 in the morning, and my family grabbed me, and we ran to the underground station because uh, it was bombs and rockets everywhere. When AGT called us, we were so glad that we have a chance to dance together on one stage again and to show the world that light always wins. Yes. And we are going to show our spirit to win. I think you are unbelievably brave and you have our total respect. Thanks. Thank you so much. We're very grateful. Thanks. Thank you. Good luck. Some older people? <laughs> so initially there were 14 kids in Light Balance Kids. But because of the situation on our country, some of them just haven't managed to come. Oh. So we asked Light Balance to help us. And fortunately, they volunteered and say yes! That's amazing! <laughs> Thank you. And Heidi, what do you think? I don't know if you guys could see me. I was dancing right down here with all of you because this was such a fun party and it needs to be longer. Thank you so much. Yeah. Simon, what did you think about what you just saw? Let me tell you something. It was your best performance you've ever done. Thank you. Really? By a mile? Absolutely. I mean, I cannot tell you how brilliant that was. I mean, you telling us your story on top of that makes it even more poignant, what I'm about to say, which is, if anything, defines an all-star, it was that performance. Really. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's very important for us. You've always been one of my favorite acts that I have seen in the history of America's Got Talent. And there's such an amazing message here where you come from, at, at this point, it's arguably the darkest place in the world, and you come across the globe to bring us light. 
And if I can do anything, anything, on behalf of America, on behalf of AGT All-Stars, to bring you even more light than you brought us, I'd like to do that for you. I can see the stars. Thirty. Okay, so <laughs> why is that funny? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do you have a day job? I host celebrity um, events and I host um, a lot of uh, pub quizzes as well. Okay. Um, I also um, do my own singing. I do um, my, my songwriting. Yeah. I do production, mixing, and mastering. Amazing. And I play the keyboard. Wow. So, what's your biggest achievement so far? My biggest achievement, I hosted Peter Andre's brother's wedding back in Cyprus. And did you sing at Peter Andre's brother's wedding? I did. What did Peter Andre think? He went, Paul, you don't look the part, <laughs> but you sound amazing. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is from Peter Andre. Whenever you're ready, good luck. Thank you very much. Every time you're near, every time I hear, my heart beats and I surrender. You're everything that I've been dreaming of. I want to hold you and feel the love. Whoa, I want to hold you in my arms. Whoa, I want to hold you in my arms. <laughs> Wanna be with you, love yourself. 
The song was horrific. Um, and you forgot the words to your own song. I bet you know the chorus, though. You're not going to get any more. Somebody scream! <laughs> I love entertaining. I love it. He is so annoying. Thank you, everyone. Oh, he's sweet. The thing is, you're a born entertainer, and I do think that that is a hit record. I do. Thank you, David. You actually believe that? Yes, I do. OK. Would you manage, Paul, and finance that record? <laughs> well, that's what I do for a living, so I put, I put my money where my mouth is. Well, how much does it cost to put a record well, out? Well, quite a lot. Do you believe it's a hit record? Yes or no? No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, you've now got yourself a record deal with David Wallace. Let's vote. Hi, David. I'm going to say yes. Thank you. Simon? I'm going to say no. Amanda? I'm saying yes, Paul. Thank you so much, Amanda. Well done, Wally Do you know what? I think you deserve a shot. And well done, David. You're great <laughs> <laughs> You say yes for me, Paul. You should come down and shake his hand. Oh, great. Thank you. Well done. Fantastic. Thank you so much. We'll, we'll get into all the details in the time. Hello. Oh, We're you. gonna turn the energy up. Hey. You got to turn the love up. Hey. Okay, guys. Who are you? We are men on point, Reggie Zippy and Bowley. B O double L I E. Best of lyrical lines and entertainment. How old are you both? I'm 31. And you are? I'm 29. And where are you from? We are originally from Ghana, West Africa, and now living in the UK. And what are you going to sing? Turn it up, our original song. Uh. And we hope the crowd will love it and you love it as well. OK, let's do it. All right, thank you. Thank you. So 
Rizzo, men on point. Yes, Rizzo. You're on point. Oh. Not only was it good, people were bouncing in here. Thank you. Like, thank you. Do your own song, The X Factor, and get that reaction. Incredible. Your energy's infectious. Honestly, I enjoyed it thoroughly. I love you two. I mean, you are completely nuts. <laughs> you kind of remind me of Beavis and Butthead. Because you're really funny. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm not sure how good the vocals were. I have a feeling that with you, it's always going to be a sunny day. Thank you. Right? Thank you. Thank you. But look, we're going to have to vote now. I'm going to start with Nick. Definitely, yes. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. Rita. Yes. Oh, thank you, Rita. Thank you. All the way. Thank you. Cheryl. The biggest yes of the day for me. Oh. Oh. Men on point. Yes, yeah. Simon. You have 4,321 yeses. Thank you so much. So Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do you know what? We've never had an artist like that on X Factor. They're actually so musically relevant right now. Hey, hello, Blinkett! What's your name, sir? It's Murray Mint. Hi, Murray Mint. Hi. Uh, do you mind me asking how old you are, Murray? Hey, 47 years old. And this is how you pay your mortgage? This is how I pay my mortgage. Fantastic. You are the very last act of an absolutely incredible Britain's Got Talent 2018 season. And on that note, good luck. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's hit it. In my musical box of tricks is this the tramps and disco inferno. Hello, what's your name? I'm Wesley Plummer. Wesley Plummer, and how old are you? I'm 36 years old. So what will you be doing? I'm gonna play the piano, I'm gonna sing. Is that what you do professionally? No, I, I work in tech for a small hotel chain. And uh, why AGT? My niece heard me play piano and she thought it I would be a good fit to submit to the show. Good. What are you gonna do if you win this whole thing? What would you do with the million dollars? I would quit my job, even though I like it, quit my job and, and do music full time. Okay, good luck. Thank you so much. If you change your mind, I'm the first in line. Honey, I'm still free. Take a chance on me.
If you need me, let me know. Gonna be around. If you've got no place to go, if you're feeling down, if you're all alone with the pretty birds and floor, honey, I'm still free. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe, maybe if I. So my name is Eric Gerson. I'm a composer and music director from New York. I work for a company called uh, Improv Everywhere, which was created by Charlie Ta. Yeah! You were the first people that I saw online doing like flash mobs. The back in the day. Back yeah. in the day so, yeah. on the subways and stuff. That was really cool. That's right. And we've got the UCLA choir is in the mezzanine. Yeah. <laughs> Heidi, what did you think? My favorite, I have to say, uh, was the cameraman. I liked your fart jokes. I have four kids, so that was resonating with me. No, the whole thing was fun. Thank you so much. The band was spectacular, the whole idea. It was fun, but I wish I was more surprised because unfortunately I knew something was coming because of the acting. <laughs> Are you serious? I mean, the whole point of this was to surprise this, right? And I actually was surprised. Yes. 
I love the fact that it just got bigger and bigger and bigger. I love the song choice. So I actually really like this audition. I did. All right. Let's vote. Simon? Yes. Sophia? No, sorry. No. Really? Come on! <laughs> Heidi? I mean, I kind of do want to see what else you can do, so I'm going to say yes. So, you have two yeses, and uh, you need three to move Come on. Come on, Howie! Come on, Howie. I got to be honest with you, this is more of a party gag. It's great for a party, I'll hire you, but I don't think it's for this show. Like, what could you do next? You couldn't surprise us. We can't tell you now, it'd be a surprise. Exactly. Okay. Well, I'm gonna surprise you. I'm gonna say no. We could we do the song again if you want. You can no, no, no. We gotta we gotta clean up now. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Sorry. Thank you. I didn't get it. I really like them. Look at you. Can you just stay like that the whole day? For the whole day, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. How are you guys? Hi Simon. How are you doing? We are good. We are so excited. Yes. So, tell everybody where you're from and what brings you to Britain's Got Talent today. Okay. Um, we are from Uganda, Kampala, Africa. So, we are going to dance for you guys and for you judges. Yes! Oh, thank you! And have you brought anyone with you? Mr. Kavma Dauda. Is he there? Yes. Can you say hi? Can we say hi? Yeah, go on, please do. Hi! Oh, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Tell us a little bit about this group. I have 30 kids that I'm taking care of. Some are orphans. We are using music, dance and drama to make lives better. Amazing. Oh, my God, it's amazing. Oh, bless you, darling. <laughs> That's incredible. Well, we're all rooting for you, and the yeah. stage is yours. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, look, look, oh! We are the ghetto kids from the Pearl of Africa, Uganda.
the stars illuminating It's a place for a you and I A little space for a you and I That's never actually happened. <laughs> Normally, the golden buzzer is pressed afterwards. Oh, I'm sorry, I got it wrong. <laughs> yeah, someone didn't explain the rules of Britain's Got Talent to him. He gave you the golden buzzer <laughs> and you performed with the confetti. It was magical. <laughs> and by the way, who's this little one? My name is Josephine. Hello, Josephine. How old are you, Josephine? Five years. I just want to say, you're absolute superstars, every single one of you. What you're doing is absolutely incredible, and we are honoured that you have come to Britain's Got Talent. You've lit up the stage, and yes. the energy in the room and joy is incredible. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your talent is unbelievable. And it felt to me like you'd really raised the bar on Britain's Got Talent, so well done. I was literally exploding, I'm telling you. You should be proud of yourself. I can't wait to see you back. That's yeah. all I can say. I think it's incredible that you're so young, you've flown all the way, and no fear, this is an audition we're going to remember. And it was brilliant. That's what this show is all about. Yeah. And that's what the Golden Buzz is for. Hi, so what's your name? Um, my name's Nick. Nick, um, Nick. Nicholas Bryant. And Bryant. I'm here to play the piano for you. Really? Yes. OK. <laughs> so what do you do in real life? I, I work for an investor relations consultancy. Is that like a bank? Mm, yeah. OK, so you're good with numbers, but while you're doing that, you're thinking, actually, what I really want to be is... Performing, getting, getting my music out there, yeah. <laughs> Right, the stage is yours. Grab it. Thanks.
We are the big thing. Come on. <laughs> I want to hear everything. We're a community choir. We're just made up of normal people who love to sing. And we sing really uplifting music to make you feel good. OK. And um, what's your name, please? My name's Gemma. And did you put the uh, choir together? Yeah, along with my husband, Howard. Hello, Howard. Hi. How are you doing? I'm not too bad. Not Good. Too bad. Okay. I actually know Howard very well. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Howard? Hello. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so who's the youngest? Because I think I can guess. <laughs> <laughs> this is our daughter, Eden. How old? She's three. My God. <laughs> so what's the big dream here? We want to get as many people singing as possible. We just want people to come and join us and enjoy the love of singing. OK. How do you know him? Because he used to play for Mystique.
350. 350, apparently. Ooh. My goodness. <laughs> we weren't expecting that. <laughs> uh, Alicia, what did you think? Oh, how did we sum this up? Like, I just felt so joyful throughout the whole thing. This is the greatest surprise I've ever had, Simon. Thank you. You wanted everyone to sing, you've got me singing. <laughs> the brightest day, oh! The brightest day, oh! The world will change This is it. You made our day bright as could ever be. Amanda. It kind of reminded me of that scene in The Wizard of Oz where everything's black and white and then suddenly yes. it turns into colour <laughs> and then the magic happens. When you were talking, I, you know, you said, oh yeah, it's a community choir, you know, it's about bringing people together. I'm like, it's not that big, is it? <laughs> and then you got me. Bruno. Oh, it's a definite yes, yes, yes! Oh, happy day! Alicia. It's a big yes from me, guys. It's a yes from me. Sing, 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 sing. You got four yeses. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. How are you? A bit nervous, very nervous. Are you? Nothing to be nervous about. Tell us about you. My name is Christine Tew. Yeah. I'm 65 years of age. <laughs> 65? I want what she's on. Oh, my God. I want what she's on. So I retired five years ago. I was a registrar of births, deaths and marriages. Before that, I was a nurse in various roles. Oh. And, Christine, are you married? I am. Happily? Happily, 44 years next month. Oh my God, wow. Dizzy Twilight. Go on, DJ Dizzy Twilight. <laughs> I love it. If you ever need an MC, DJ Dizzy, I'm your girl. Doesn't matter that you can't mix. That was brilliant. <laughs> I was feeling the vibes. That 
she was bringing on the stage. Go on, DJ Dizzy. <laughs> oh, my God, Christine. I thought we were going to get, like, the hills are alive with the sound of music or something. You're a little minx, aren't you? <laughs> OK, we'll get a vote. So, David? <clears throat> I'd like to get on down to some more from Christine, so I'm saying yes. Thank you. DJ Dizzy on the decks, it's a yes from me. It's a yes from me, Christine, too. Thank you. Look, Christine, I think this show is all about finding people who are interesting and different, and that's why you have four yeses. Welcome. Thank you so much. We're so happy to be here. The motions are running wild right now, and we are here to represent Chicago in the best way. Thank you so yeah! much. Yeah! Well, you look amazing. I want to hear all about you. I want to hear your story and why you decided to enter the show. We are the Pack Drumline for Chicago, Illinois. We've been at this for a very long time. In 2014, we started as an at-risk after-school program. And sorry, who started it? I started it. I'm oh, the founder director. Sorry, my name is Per... <laughs> Listen, Simon, I'm sorry. I've been waiting to meet you for a long time, and I'm looking at you and... By the way, likewise. Uh, <laughs> well, I was starting as an at-risk after-school program, and we just really wanted to work and develop the kids. We had no money when we started off. Honestly, this program started as bucket drums and PVC pipes, and we would just really just try to make our own drums, and... At 2015, 2016, our budget was cut in Chicago, and a lot of our members left, and everybody who was left is who's here right now, and we really had to make this dream come alive. So everyone that's here has been fighting for something. Wow. And just, and we, thank you. We just really here to represent our city, to represent our loved ones, and to represent ourselves. So thank you so much for having me. Good for you. Yeah. Well, we always say on this show, Two minutes literally can change your life, so I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. Let's go, Pat! Wow, 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 wow. Well, 
Sophia. You guys are already an amazing show. I think you Thank guys you. are going to do really, really good in this competition. Thank you so much. <laughs> Heidi. I thought it was sexy. And I could see Sophia was like jiggling under that table. She was like, mm hmm. I was doing the same thing. I know you all were doing it too. It's really cool because you mix music of today and then you put your drums into it and also the choreography was great drumming upside down great thank performance you, thank you so much thank you so much howie i'm absolutely blown away i feel your hearts you're not beating on your drums your hearts are pounding all over this room all over this country i love you thank you so much thank you so much you know people ask me about what is the best part of doing this job and it's moments like this when you see and hear something you've never seen or heard before, which is original, dynamic. This is exactly what this show is all about. And I think- Thank you so much. It's all over your faces how much this means to you. And this, I believe, is gonna make a big difference, I hope, to Thank you. you so much. Amazing audition. I loved it, loved it, loved it. Let's start with Howard. And yeses, congratulations. These are hoverboards. Oh, <laughs> This could all end really badly. On, On your mark, roll a lid down. Stop, stop, get set. Get set. Oh. <laughs> Bruno! 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 Cheese. I would love a really stinky bishop's finger on a cracker. Who said that? Oh, hang on. They're all going for Amanda. But was that right? I love cheese. <laughs> I would love a really stinky bishop's finger on a cracker. <laughs> Get you correct. Well done, Judge. It's not a we good start. not the only place you'd like a bishop's finger. <laughs> with you about this. <laughs> <laughs> next one, next. It's a Here's really next strong one. Cheese. Listen up. Great, it's me. Back to me. Oh, me, 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 me. <laughs> it's all about me. <laughs> oh, said David. Straight <laughs> away. <laughs> David's got a cheeky smile. Is he right? Great, it's me. Back to me. <laughs> me, 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 me. It's all about me. <laughs> You're doing well, judges. <laughs> Who do you think has got a tattoo of you? On them. Uh, obviously, David. You're going to say, David, right? Would the judge who has the tattoo please reveal themselves? <laughs> oh, 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 David, it is! <laughs> yes! I have a tattoo. This is the thing. <laughs> Let's see the tattoo! 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 Yes! <laughs> I'm not paid enough money <laughs> to deal with that. <laughs> Seriously? I'll tell you something. I actually feel sick. But what 
last week. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Do you want to... 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 Do you to... you want Thank you so much for having me on your show, and uh, I have a little gift. What's that? Is that for me? Can I open it now? Yeah. Did you buy it for me? I picked it myself. Please welcome, yes. Oh, God. Please welcome, <laughs> your Britain's Got Talent. Oh, no! Older Light! the one thing about Simon that you don't know that you would like to know? Oh, good oh, question. No. You know everything, don't David. you? David. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> don't go there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? I like, you, I like your baby. Is it time for uh, you're, you've right? got a contract for next year. Um, you can have a two-year extension. I would like... It, I mean, we are after the watershed, are we? Yes. No, we're not. No, we're not. Oh, no, oh, we're no. not. We're not after no. the watershed. I would like to okay. see David. David. inside <laughs> his house. Oh. He's no. never invited. These two girls have been to his house. Right. I, I haven't. Why, why has David never been to your house? He's scared. I don't really like him that much. <laughs> <laughs> and while I'm at his house, I'd like to see if. <laughs> Oldest girl of the panel, um, 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 Amanda Holden. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's what he says when he holds it in his hand. Unbelievable. Hands. No, no, it's a, a big... potato. Yeah, that's it. Let's go. Go. Well, he's a... <laughs> he sits on the end next to you. Hey, <laughs> Callie. Yes. Yes. Uh, what you have for me, a physical. Uh, <laughs> he says it all the time. Douche. Yes. Uh, the thing we hit, the red thing, and the gold. <laughs> no, no, you're being silly. <laughs> the red thing, the gold thing. Uh, it's buzzer. Yeah. It's on the other channel. It's the what channel? Oh, what channel? Just get a digital award. <laughs> ITV2 brings one more talent. Yes. You know you should be watching BGN. Do you? <laughs> Dear Williams is a swimmer. Uh, comedian. Yes. Oh, there are two little people that have <laughs> <laughs> all the time. Oh, yes. 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 Y
<laughs> what a leash she really is. <laughs> a rapper, dancer. Correct. Yeah, just in. Tell you, good. you scored five. What did you win? You know, nothing, because she Why started showing I... off as usual. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I've got to say, how many did they get right? Seven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you scored nine. So you've won. Two. Absolutely. Do you? What are the three things that you love about yourself? Um. Humility, uh, yes, uh, charm, humble good looks, humility, generous. Uh, I like people, I wear great clothes, I'm funny, um, I'm great fun to have dinner with and breakfast and lunch. Uh, I'm great to go on holiday with. Um, I like guys, I like girls, I like animals. I know you do! <laughs> My fiance been together for years, 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 years. And my friends ask me, how do you do it? How you together for so long? Through the pandemic, baby. And I just say, find your woman that, you know, loves you, understands your flaws, and find your woman that has a good sense of humor. Just make sure those three women don't find out about each other. It's <laughs> <laughs> a trick. Yeah, but we don't really have issues. In fact, I'm like, the biggest issue we have is I hate when she would imitate my voice in an argument and it sounds nothing like my voice. <laughs> I can't stand it. I, she come up to me, I asked you what time you're coming home, and you said to me, I don't know what time you're coming home. <laughs> I don't sound like that. Yes, you do. <laughs> what I do now, I've got a way to get her back. I imitate her voice back, and guess what? She don't like it. <laughs> so I did tell you what time I was coming home, and you said, well, make sure you come back at this time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't sound like that. Yes, you do. She gets angry. Get out of my face! Get out of my face! I say, all right, I'll get out of your face. But how do I do it? In style. Right, yes, the clue oh, is in the title. As you can see on stage, we have four ex-child stars from BGT fame. Wow. One by one, they'll reveal their faces. I'll give you some clues along the way. All you've got to do is try and guess who they are. Simple as that. Right, number one, please come forward and reveal yourself. OK, have a little look at his face. OK, anybody in the audience, do you have a, a little clue? No, not yet, not yet. OK, well, let me give you a clue, Simon. Uh, this person did their semi-final performance on a rotating platform that lifted in the air. The drummer. Oh, oh yes. yes! It is, but can you remember oh his name? Oh, my God! Kieran Gaffney. Yes, it is! Kieran Gaffney! <laughs> Thank you, Will. OK, thank you very much, Kieran. Good man, looking great. Okay. I'll start with a joke. Seems like a good idea. Um, kids are the biggest source of joy you will ever have. Trouble is, they do tend to ruin every other source of joy <laughs> you ever had. So I hear other parents say stuff like, I'd take a bullet for my child. You know, tell <laughs> Would you? <laughs> I'd take a bullet for my child, put it in a gun, and shoot her. <laughs> My daughter's now 18, I can't believe it. So one of those teenagers wears tons of makeup, you know, she makes RuPaul look like a trucker. <laughs> when the whole pandemic was kicking off. And I did what many people did here, which was to spend the next two years fairly drunk. <laughs> I need a drink. Oh, well, it's only half five. <laughs> Better wait till six o'clock. All right, quarter to six, I'm opening the drink. Six o'clock, woof. All right, new plan. One more at 6.30, another one at seven, and then I will get up and make my daughter some breakfast. <laughs> to see what the judges would look like oh, on Britain's Got Talent in 2046. <laughs> so... 2046. <laughs> right, David, you're up first. Here we go. Oh, actually... Oh! oh! This is a horrible game. This is horrendous. You're so mean. Alicia, you're next. You do look hot. Oh, oh thanks, man. Yeah. Simon, let's see you. Oh, my God, why is it...? You haven't changed. <laughs> I really like you. Well, and of course, we've got Amanda. We've got 
are so many, so many. Thank you, Amanda. Hopefully, hopefully we'll see. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. I have never had a dream about a fellow judge. Oh, that's a good question. I can't remember. <laughs> Who was it, and what was it about, I David? Can't remember. Um, it, <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, it was a very erotic dream. Um, <laughs> that can't really be spoken about. Okay, like, no, no, I no, actually no. have had an erotic dream about one of the judges, but I won't say it is because it's embarrassing. And you know, it's weird, isn't it, when you sometimes have an erotic dream about someone, <laughs> you don't know why you're having it. You so, go, why am I thinking about them in this way? Simon seems to think it's Alicia. <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> is it true? <laughs> All I'll say is it's one of the male judges. <laughs> For you guys <laughs> who actually had to film that at the You're front. In the game. You challenge me to get a performing animal, yeah? To be on the show, to, yeah. To be on the show. Yeah. I've managed to do it. Not only that, it's an animal we have never had on the show. Does it do tricks? Yes. It performs the Macarena. Okay? Okay. Tension music, please. That's it? Yeah. So you got me a goldfish? Yeah. Who swims? Yeah. Now, the problem is, between the door, when it was taught the Macarena, to when we've got here, it's forgot. Which one are you talking about? This one here. Well, it doesn't do the Macarena. Hey, can I be honest with you, Stephen? Yeah. This is pathetic. Well, <laughs> the great news is, you get to keep it. So that's nice, How am I isn't it? Get that home? Well, that's the that's not my problem. Here we go. I think I have either a penis or a tail. Man? Who would have said that? Obviously. No, it's David. Really? Yeah. They're all going for David. That man's gone for Simon. But oh, no, who? I've gone for David. Yeah, you've gone for David, but uh, David's gone for you. What? Right, let's find out. I think I have either a penis or a tail. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even know you said it. Why don't they use that in the main show? <laughs> Here you go. I mean, right, that's here's the your next funniest one. thing you've ever said. <laughs> oh no, I don't like nuts unless they're covered in salt. Oh, that's definitely not me. Who's that's that? me. That's Thank a pretentious you. Amanda. No, because I hate they're boring without salt. Why don't we go for Amanda? Is it? Uh, David. I don't like nuts unless they're covered in salt. <laughs> Do you know what? You know what he is, and it's, it's interesting, and it is often people who are really, really, really famous. He is incredibly generous with his time with people, more than any other star I've ever seen. Woo! Can we have an hour for that? Come on. <laughs> okay. What a lovely way to finish our nice job. But for some reason, th and that's nice of you, David, but I feel uncomfortable now. <laughs> You know, because what? you're not used to me paying you a compliment. No, I know, and I, it just doesn't sit just, right. Just take it for no, what I it can't. is. No, I can't. It just doesn't feel comfortable. What, what, would you feel more comfortable if he gave you a hug? Yeah. Come give, give me a hug. Give him a hug. Give him a hug. Come on. Come on. Hug it out. Come, come on. give me a hug. Hug come it out. That's it. No, no, come on, give me a hug. Come, come on. on. No, no, I didn't say That's sit down. <laughs> no, no, I didn't say sit down. Give him a hug. I didn't say sit down. Give him a hug. 
lovely hug. That's it, that nice. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Okay, that's what enough. a beautiful picture. That's enough. That's what a beautiful enough. picture. You've got 60 seconds to name as many acts from the past 10 years as you can. <laughs> no, I won't be able to name many. Now. Susan Boyle, flawless. Paul Potts, Connie Talbot, Damon Scott. Paddy and Nico, uh, there was a woman who smashed patio slabs on her next door neighbour's back. Lee Dines. There was a couple who threw darts at each other's backs. Names, you've only got one so far. No, you're allowed that! No. Jack Carroll, um... The uh, magician last year who was called... <laughs> I can't help you. I can't help you. Bar wizards, chicken monkeys. Kate and Jin. Um, oh, Jesus, Ten the years she's been on that show. Sweat. They were brilliant. I loved them. Andrew Johnson, George Sampson, Farrell Smith, Escala. Oh, the, the, the Greek dancers. They were very, very funny. What are they called? Um, 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 the people that swept. <laughs> oh, my God, what are the people that swept? You'll notice that I don't have any shoes because uh, David has decided that he'd nick them and we need to sort it out. I didn't no. ask you to just, sit on the desk. Just give me I the didn't shoes. ask you. Just get, get, off, get off me. <laughs> David! <laughs> it's not fun. I'm not getting involved. Look at the price tag. £245, OK? <laughs> you can have one, one. you can have one. There's one back. The other one I'm taking back to the shop. <laughs> <laughs> right, who wants it? <laughs> Ready, catch. There you go, there. What a... <laughs> <laughs>